There we go, it's 9.18 in the morning, 20.3 degrees inside and minus 12 outside. I must say it stays very consistent in this house. And, oh yes, it's uh, rising air pressure, which you can see is actually correct for this time. It's actually uh, a little bit sunny out there. A little bit misty out on the water. I don't know how well you guys will be able to see this. Uh, it's pretty misty out there. Usually I can see across, but the horizon's kind of blanked out by the mist. But uh, yeah, she's she's snowy out. Getting up and around. You know, the usual. Today is the 14th. Oh, we have the joke of the day. Oh, I don't know if I got it yesterday. If I didn't, there it is. Here's today. This is not funny. That's kind of not a ha-ha joke. It's like, ugh. It make you want a vomit joke. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, just trying to figure out what I'm going to get up to here. I um, got a bunch of work done on the Focus last night. I'll get into that in a bit. Oh, you want to see some deer? There we go. There's some deer. Not too uncommon around here. Oh, sorry, there's three of them there. I miss the other one. One there. That one there. That one there. He coming out of that chimney and that one there. But yeah, like I said, that's not too uncommon around here. There's deer around here all the fucking time. Actually, they're more of a nuisance than anything, but uh, they're pretty to look at sometimes. But uh, I had a hell of a time with this driveway yesterday. Let me tell you, it took me forever to try to get in this driveway with the Focus before I put the uh, winter tires on. Summer tires are useless, and I mean, a useless. And Oh, my video's done rendering. I could hear somebody talking. It sounded like me. It is me. On my video. But, uh, anyways, yeah. Uh, I forget what I was saying. Oh, yeah, about getting stuck in that. Yeah, summer tires are useless in the winter. Especially when you're on icy, snowy stuff like I was yesterday. It took me about an hour to get my car turned around. Yeah, I had to pull it out of the garage. Or no, I had to pull it into the garage. It was beside my new truck. I want to just uh, <coughs> turn around and pull. <coughs> Blah. Still not 100% here, boys. But uh, I wanted to pull her in the uh, garage there so I can get started on doing some work. But the um, when I went to pull it back, it just spun and spun and spun. So I backed up a little more, spun and spun and spun. Backed up a little more, spun and spun and spun. Then I was kind of down the driveway a little bit. So I said, screw it. I backed all the way down the driveway and tried to go and spun and spun and spun. And I bought, ended up backing about a qu quarter kilometer down the road and, try, and then turned around and backed all the way up, back a quarter kilometer back to the house, backed up the driveway, and halfway up the driveway, the car went sideways and I went into the yard. Luckily, I got back out of that, and uh, so I went back down around, went to turn around, tried to come back. When I turned around, I got stuck, we couldn't move an inch. So uh, I walked back, got the truck, because I went to go do something. I had to go down there to turn around, actually. So I thought, perfect, I'll just turn around right behind the car. Well, didn't I get stuck right behind the fuck car? Like 20 feet away, two vehicles stuck within 20 minutes. But anyways, it was glare ice, I got out, uh, it wasn't that bad, but uh, could have been a lot fucking worse. Anyways, I'm going to go to the shop and uh, see what's going on today. Alright, sorry about the noise, but uh, it's 
freezing in here. You can see my windows are all fogged up again. They're all frosted up, I should say. It is minus 13, though, so that's not a big surprise. But I got the uh, summer tires off, the winter tires on, and that big meaty tread on there. They were pretty much brand new tires. They still got the uh, little spriggy sticking out of them. Got the studs on the front here. So uh, no more getting stuck in the driveway. Uh, what else did I get done? I got the uh, strut done. What's wrong with that strut? Huh? Looks straight, don't it? Anyways, there's the strut replaced. That replaced. That replaced. Can't really see the bumper, but the bumper replaced. And the lower red support. Okay. All replaced. So the car is pretty much ready to rock and roll. Uh, I don't know if I told you before, I was having a problem with the headlights. I figured out what that was. I forgot to plug them back in. Um, there's this little spot here. I was thinking I might tape that off and just put a little bit of black on that. Because, uh, you know, it looks a lot better when the, you can't actually see the rust. But other than that, I'd say she's good to go, boys. I just got to uh, throw some bounce sheets in it so it doesn't smell. Cause it still kind of smells a little funky. Get the uh, summer tires in the back seat, start slap a for sale sign on it, park it down the end of the road. And, uh, okay. I was looking, another guy's got a, one of these for 800 bucks. It's safety runs out in two months, and it's in a lot worse shape than this. And it's a year or two older. So I think I was going to go 1,000. Worst case scenario, 12 advertising. But I think I might advertise it if it start at 15 just to try, and then work my way down from there. But we'll see what happens. Alright, it's 9.23 in the morning, 20.9 inside, minus 4.1 outside. Says it's gonna rain or maybe snow at this temperature, but I don't know what's gonna happen. It is pretty gray out there. Just make a mess on the way out the door. I gotta drive for one of my meetings. Gonna be there for 10.30, so I gotta get my ass out of here. And you can see it's kinda gray out there. Here's the joke of the day for the 15th. He does the work of three men, Larry, Mo, and Curly, which are the three stooges, I guess. I don't know. Fucking bad jokes. Uh, anyways, um, I'm in a bit of a hurry here, so I'll start recording once I'm driving. Alright, so I got a little twist turned all backwards and shit. Uh, it turned out that uh, I got two meetings today, and I knew I had two meetings, but I didn't know... I thought they were the other way around. I thought I was going to Bridgewater first and then to Hubbard's, but it turns out it's the other way around. I gotta go to Hubbard's first and then to Bridgewater. So, I actually was in a rush in there before I uh, was filming. Well, and I didn't have to be, because I actually didn't have to be there for a while yet. So anyways, now I'm going. Uh, I'm just heading in now. Just gotta do my first meeting in Hubbard's and then uh, my second meeting to really uh, change my time here. I, I haven't adjusted it yet. <laughs> um, but uh, that was just because of the battery debacle. Anyways, I'm uh, just driving the Focus today. The uh, I got to drive all the way to Bridgewater and the woman's car is not doing so good. The water pump fully is about to shit in the bed and fly, go flying up the side of the car. So. I'm not going to drive it, I'm going to just drive my car, um, hopefully I don't get pulled over, but I should be fine, I don't tend to speed too much or anything anymore, except for right now, I'm going 90 and it's 70, <laughs> this car drives well actually, but uh, sounds pretty good actually, now that I don't have that clunk in a bag, and I, I must say she's doing a lot better. Um, but yeah, just like I said, I'm going to this fucking meeting. I gotta get this meeting done, and then another meeting done. And then probably more meetings next week, or the week after, I'm sure. But uh, hopefully that'll... I'll be very close to getting my uh, shit, my ducks all in a row, so I can get this shit started, so I can uh, get on this new payment program, or this new program, and keep getting money. Because uh, she's starting to get tight. Uh, I think I got my last EI payment there the other day, so if I don't get something else coming in soon, I'm going to have to pull some shit out of my ass, but 
that's part of this thing. One of the reasons I'm driving this is to make sure that, uh, you know, it's holding up. And there's nothing else that really that'll, uh, you know, jump out, you know, tell me that I need to do something. Just looking. Definitely in need of an oil change. Last time it was due for an oil change was 168 on March 30th. Well, it's now January 15th and it's at 171. So uh, I'll have to think of that. Maybe soon I'll do that. I might not bother though. I'm going to peel that sticker off before I sell it so nobody else knows. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't. I'm not too too worried about that. If I do end up uh, doing more work to this, I may uh, do something about it. Oh, there's a little shake in the wheel. It's not bad though. It's just a little shutter at 100. Not too, not too unexpected. The big old meaty winter tires. It's hard to keep them going perfectly straight, but it's nice to have traction, boys. Let me fucking tell you, it's nice to have traction. Trying to drive this thing the other day was fucking retarded. It took me an hour to get turned around to get my fucking garage for fuck's sake. But, uh, oh yeah, I even have cruise control. Huh. Let's turn that on. There we go. River up, Jimmy. Stop making with your dipstick, Jimmy. Whoops. I love those commercials with the crazy Scottish guy whipping people with dipsticks. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, got a little wobble to the steering. Not too, too bad, though. I've seen a lot worse. I've had a lot worse. <laughs> My dad's car is worse right now. But hopefully that's just the uh, the wheels and not the brakes still sticking. I know I had a problem with sticky brake yesterday or before. That's why I uh, didn't drive this thing last week after my meet. My first meet, because... Uh, so bad, the brake was sticking so bad, but uh, I took it apart, I cleaned up the sliders, the sliders were gummed all up, so I'm hoping that's mostly what it was, just gummy sliders. The piston didn't really want to go back in very much, but when I put the piston out uh, on the caliper there, it was just coated in fucking rusty chunks around the piston, like in the rubber thing. I peeled the rubber back and in behind the rubber is all these rusty chunks. Now the piston itself wasn't really rusty, so I think what was happening is it was just jamming up on all them ru that rusty that nonsense. So I just cleaned her all up inside there, blew out, scraped out as much of that rust as possible. It then, then actually went back, not as easy as it could, but it went back into place, so I'm hoping that that's what was uh, between those two things that was causing that sticky break because uh, I don't really got a lot of, you know, a lot more I can do for it right now and I don't want to dump a bunch more money into it. I don't want to have to put a set of pads on it or a new caliper. And I assume that's probably the caliper that they said needed to be fixed or replaced because they did say apparently the two things that car needed for safety was a strut and a caliper were the two main things. Well, the strut's done. And I found this kit sticky brake, so that's probably the caliper. But I don't know why, you know, if, they, if that was the caliper they said or what they meant, but we'll see. I may take it in there next week if I get enough cash flow going and stuff and I get the time. I may take it in there next week just to see if I can't uh, get uh, a pre-safety done and then I know exactly what's wrong with it. This is going to be a little interesting. Coming, I gotta drive. Just trying to get the fan. That's a too much. They're just trying to get the fan on my fucking freezing here. I should have tons of heat, so I might as well fucking use it. But uh, yeah, other than that, nothing too exciting going on today. Uh, not yet, anyways. You know, we'll see what happens. I'm kind of focusing a lot on selling this thing. Uh, I can't really get too much further ahead with uh, my vehicles and stuff until I get rid of this so I can spend more money on other things. Like I need parts. For, uh, I need a starter to get that truck going. And I need money to get other vehicles. 
still waiting on that Volvo. I may or may not get that. I don't know what the fuck's going on with that. I'm not too worried about it though. If I don't get it, I don't get it. It's no great loss, but I'd like a complete piece of shit like that that I can just destroy. Or try to. <laughs> and then fucking just sell the scrap. I don't care. But that's not going to be today. Maybe this weekend or something. But, uh, Oh, smelling nice in here, boys. I uh, finally, this car stunk. I won't lie, it's, well, it still does. I, I got it this morning. So, oh, it smells like kind of like an old nasty puke or something. I think the woman told me that her, one of her dogs get car sick, and that's why it smells like it does in here because the dog got sick a bunch of times and she cleaned it up. But you, know, you don't do a real good job cleaning it up, you can still smell it. I think that's what happened. Now, we got it mostly cleaned out, but. You know, once it's got a smell in there, it's really hard to get the smell out of everything. So I dumped half a dozen uh, bounce sheets right before I left in here. So I'm hoping, like, I can smell now with the heat on. It actually smells like the bounce sheets, not all the old pukes. So I'm doing good so far. But, uh, just trying to <laughs> get my rear wiper wiping so I can see out my back window. It's not too bad. Not too, too bad, but just wanted to get her done. Ah, oh, frick. It's not the nicest of days, but it's not too, too bad. It was a good day to be doing meetings and stuff. I'm really hoping that uh, I don't have to do too, too more much of this. I mean, I know I'm going to still have to go to meetings like once every two weeks or something. And everything, that's fine. I mean, you know, it's the price they have to pay to get some well, free money, but, you know, cheaper money everything I don't mind, you know, and it'll be good, the courses will help me in that, it's just you know, a bit of a pain, in a way, I don't want to, I don't like traveling a lot, I don't know, I don't like big long commutes, an hour drive a day, either way, kind of sucks, like this drive here today, I'm probably going to burn at least this half a tank of gas, because i got to go into Hubbard's, which is a 20 minute drive, and then back, let's just say 45 minutes there, and then I gotta go to Bridgewater and back, and that's an hour each way. So, three hours minimum driving today, just to do, do these two meetings. So, you know, it's hard to make it worth it. But, you know, again, my other option is uh, get a real job. Well, I do this will be a real job. I plan on making this quite the business if I can, you know, I wanna hire people, get shit on the go. But, Oh, I hope this brake ain't sticking. I really should get out and check it. I don't really feel like it's sticking. So I don't think it is. I'll find out when I get there anyways. If it's sticking, it's sticking. There's not much I can do. I'm going to try to free it up. Or pitch it off for now until I get this meeting done. But... Oh, it's so much nicer. No clunk, tong, bang, clunk. Every time I turn. That was pretty much the biggest problem with this car. Assuming that brake ain't sticking. I'm doing good. She's feeling better now that I turned. The vibration's coming back. Yeah, it's a little over 80 it starts, but that's fine, that's fine. Can't win them all. I do like cruise control on cars because it keeps me from speeding a lot of the time. Though the last time I got a speeding ticket, it was because I was on cruise control, but that was because I wasn't paying attention. I can't blame the car. It was my stupidity. I should really should have been uh, paying attention to the fact that it was coming up to a school. Not that there's anybody in school, but you know, it's a school. If there's a school, it's a 50 zone. It's guaranteed. Like, that, you know, every school almost is in a 50 zone. There's very few schools that are not in a 50 zone. So I should have known coming up to a 50 zone. They're coming up to a school. There's a 50 zone. I should have known anyways, because I know that 50 sign is there. But <laughs> I didn't, and I was paying attention. Sure enough, there's a cop there. But he was good about it. I, I told him. I don't know that you know. I'm sure cops hear every fucking excuse in the book. And you know, I feel like an idiot sometimes trying to make one up. But at the same time, you know. It was the truth. I was using my uh, 
my cruise control to gauge my speed, so uh, control my speed. So it was my stupidity for not turning it down. He let me go on that, nailed me with uh, a fine for not having my stickers up to date on my license plate, which is stupid. I don't know about where you live, but every two years here, you got to buy a new sticker for your license plate here, which actually is a cash grab, total cash grab. But uh, you know, it is what it is. Oh, freak! Getting closer. I don't know what time it is yet? 18.5. I think that's the kilometers I put on this today. It may not. It may be the total. I don't know. Uh, I hope this uh, vibration, though, is coming from the tires, not the, not the brake, because that would be a piss off. Get annoyed with sticky brakes. Sometimes they stick for the stupidest fucking reasons. Sometimes a real fucking pain in the ass to get them stopped with them replacing the fucking parts. That is the last thing I want is to fucking change a fucking caliper if I don't have to. I'd rather just take the fucking piston out, clean it all up, and put it back in. I mean bleed the brakes if I have to. But I'd rather not even do that. I'd rather do nothing. I'd rather say, yeah, she shakes a little at the hundred and I can just sell it like this. It's no, like, not a big fucking deal breaker, that's for sure. Nobody's gonna hit a hundred until they fucking get 20 minutes away from my house anyways. But, uh, you know, I tell them, though. I, I don't... Some people are skeezy when they sell their cars and stuff, which I really don't like. I can't do that. If my car has problems, I'll tell somebody. I really don't care that I might not get the sale or whatever. If I don't get the sale, I don't get the fucking sale. That, you know, that'll happen. But, yeah. Otherwise, I get the sale and I sell it. You know, I just, I don't want people coming back to me, you know, fucking a week or two later, be like, oh, you didn't tell me this. Oh, I'm all fucked over because of it. Shit like that. I get that anyways, even when I do tell people things, so. You know, I can't imagine what some people would be like if I didn't. So, that's why I do it. And, you know, I'm just not an arsehole. You know, a lot of people, I don't know why they try to pull the wool over people's eyes. I think they won't notice. Like, you know, yes, you might get a couple more dollars, but that person will never think highly of you again. And, you know, probably shit on you for the rest of your life. You know, you might not never see them again, but you never know. That same person could, you know, be the guy walking by a week's time when your vehicle breaks down, you're walking down the side of the road, you forgot your cell phone, and, you know, you're hoping somebody will pick you up, but nobody will pick you up because nobody picks up hitchhikers anymore. And this guy drives by laughing, going, yeah, right, like, I'm going to fucking help you out when you rip me off, you know. What goes around comes around. I'm a big believer in karma, so. I, don't, I talked about that truck before. It's still here, I think. Yeah, it's still back there. I don't know if you saw it, but it's still there. I think I might offer Buddy a hundred bucks. He said he wanted three, he'd take two. Well, there's nothing left of it. The box is gone, the gas tank's bad, the frame's rot. Yes, it is a 4 by 4 apparently the cab's okay. But, the motor hasn't run in years. Kind of, I uh, don't know, it's kind of a gray area, right? So, I say, you know, I'll offer him a hundred. I'll tell him, I'll say, look, you know, I see it's still there. Uh, Nobody else wants it. Just you know, don't don't completely discount me. You know, if you don't want to pay or you don't want a hundred bucks, that's fine. In two weeks, nobody else wants it, and you think, geez, I wish I had that hundred bucks. Well, you call me back. Better slow down. Kind of like driving by button. It's kind of neat. But, uh, I'll say this car's pretty fucking tight. Better than my truck, that's for sure. No clunks or bangs now. Just rides down the road real smooth and nice. Somebody's got to get a nice car from this, that's for sure. I mean, I could keep it, but what the hell am I going to do with it? I don't need it. You know, the woman's got a car, I've got a truck. truck. The truck's what I need. If I need to, you know, do much commuting, I can use the woman's car usually. If it ain't broke down, but, you know. I could fix it too, but I'm just not gonna. I don't want to forget other way words. Oh, but uh, I don't want to have the hassle if it fucks up, it being my fault. If you know, it 
Buddy breaks at the garage, he's got insurance, he's got all the gear to fix it. Well, I fuck up and break it, I gotta get it to the garage, so, and then, oh, excuse me, and then pay them to fix my fuck up. I'm not so keen on doing that, so. <laughs> to the, I just say, fuck it, send her right to the garage. It's her truck, her car anyways. My car, different story, but, you know, she's got a very important job. She got to make it there every day. You know, she can't not have a working car. So. You know, that's why I don't bother with it. Anyways, I'm getting kind of close, so I'm just gonna kill this for now. It's 20 minutes already of me rambling. That's far more than enough. I really got to stop these rambling videos and try to get some better content. I think, but uh, we'll see. Anyways, I'll probably add some more to this video, some more rambling. Anyways, see what happens. Something crazy happens, I'll let you know.